It's dark and dirty inside 1313 Butternut Street, known as Little Mo, and home to large numbers of Somali refugees. It's a place so bad that lawyers are suing management on behalf of everybody in the building. This winter, heat was shut off for days at a time, leaving residents bundled and cold. Residents say they feel helpless because they just arrived in America and don't know the language or have a job yet. Many women wear ornate clothing that provides a stark contrast to the worn and tired surroundings. There are broken windows, moldy bathtubs, and leaky pipes. When the electricity is working, dim lights illuminate the cockroaches and stained carpeting. The residents throw ornate rugs over the filthy floors. But that doesn't keep out the vermin, which leaves some tenants covered in bed bug bites. The frustration is heard in their voices as tenants talk about how helpless they feel to make things better. Some apartments are so bad that they've been boarded up. There's a hole in one of the staircases and the hallways are barely lit and smell musty. Until recently, there was no working lock on the front door, and drug users and other intruders would hide in the dark hallways. Despite the grim surroundings, families are warm and inviting. They welcome us into their apartments to share their frustrations. They hug their children tight and try to make best of a situation that few Americans have endured.